We had Rambler in our sights as a bit of a target. You know, she's she's a hundred percent thoroughbred racing, and and once she gets into her conditions, she's just many many knots faster than us. They clicked into that mode a few times and sort of sailed away. It probably for us not as intense as it was for the guys on the 272s. We, we had a grandstand view of of them duking it out pretty much the whole way around the race course. The match we had with uh, Leopard sometime and the two mini maxi is great for us because can catch them and uh, we passed each other uh, many times. I, I don't know much about SFS and the, and the team they, they, they had on board but oh, clearly they've you know, got quite a lot of talent there and, and um, you know they sailed really really well. Between us and them it kind of boiled down to uh, the, the beat up back up to Barbudamark where we just could sail a whole lot higher and a whole lot faster. You can have a very good winter racing in West Indies, then come and have fun and pleasure in West Indies, for sure. It's a good venue for everybody. The first part of the race was a surprise because we were expecting a lot less wind and the boat, we were in over 10 knots the whole way. It became a little bit painful, a lot of um, getting stuck and watching the boats behind you catch up with you, you know, a bit of stop-start. which again makes it frustrating but adds an interesting dynamic. We sailed pretty much around the 600 mile course with Shumana and Runaway uh, in sight and uh, they're both in our class so it was you know it was important to stay on them and, and um, we were uh, beating them both actually um, pretty much all the way around the track until last night when uh, Runaway got very light and Runaway got biased um, and we sat in a hole for what seemed like forever with 0.0 .0 on the speedo and we lost steerage and we started to go the wrong way and we had to drop the jib or furl the jib to get the bow back up because we just didn't have the steerage and we watched them kind of sail right around us and over the horizon. We were going around the track a little bit later than normal so you get to see islands that during the day that you'd normally see at night and you know I, don't know, I haven't counted how many islands we went around. There were a lot of them, and they're all very different. Some are volcanic. In fact, Montserrat was 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 letting off gas and soot this morning. You know, it's just um, very picturesque and, and pretty, and and a lot of fun. Saw a water spout, humpback whales. I'd never seen phosphorescence before at night. What else? We had a couple of brooches. You know, it was all kicking off in the first 24 hours. You know. You go fast, and we've all the figure eights around all the islands. It's um, it's a really a challenge. That was from about 20 minutes into the race four days ago. It's just been relentless with Taz. They sailed the about very well and it was really good to be in front of them for all of the race. Tacking up the shore here, here at Antigua, and we felt we had the better, and, and they did a sail change, and we were just playing the shifts up the shore, and we finally passed them after many days. They finally got us at the end, but it's probably because we are getting a little bit tired. That is a beautiful boat behind us. Hello. Hello. Recording. Excited. Damage on the rest yeah. of the parts.
va regarder les petits gates, ça monte. This is our target. Séquence, repas en terrasse. Three Pete is always fantastic. As I said, I will be back if I'm above the ground next year. We're looking forward to a 10th anniversary. I'll be 72, I hope, or dead, one or the other. <laughs>